rats, the lifeblood of the Siberian economy, a staple of the Russian diet, and an absolutely useless animal. I spent 100 days in RimWorld with one goal, breed as many rats as possible and start a pyramid scheme. Our storyteller for this playthrough is a middle-aged Japanese man. Also, no kill boxes because I'm bored of funneling hundreds of men into my tight holes. Oh yeah, this bad boy will fit lots of rats. We have three main goals here that we're going to pursue. Step one, breed more rats. Step two, expand our network. And step three, profit. Let's go ahead and see if there's any rats on this map. Beautiful, it looks like there's three rats indeed. So let's get a shelter up and then we can go and recruit some rats. And on the end of 4th of April May, a trader just came by from the Tonium tribe. Wonder if they have anything good. Nope. didn't know you can actually plant a bunch of daylilies in your bedroom and they will give you 15 mood for every single one so they can be used as a decent temporary uh, mood boosting measure in early game see look how quickly this bedroom is going to raise up in quality all right and our first raid here so the filth toxers are attacking they're coming in immediately looks like it's just one dude with a knife so ratty should have no issue dealing with ng over here and, uh, you know, NG maybe is a potential recruit. Eh, that's not the worst thing in the world. Creepy breathing. I don't love the wooden foot. But you know what? They actually might be alright. We're going to be able to break this person very quickly. I'm right now not sure I want to recruit them or if I want to turn them into a slave. Uh, Intellectual 2 lines up with the boss babe philosophy, so I'm a fan of that. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to recruit NG. I think we're going to have NG recruited probably in two to three days. NG isn't really going to be able to convince anyone to join, but you know what? That's all right. We do need people to do work around the colony. All right, so the resistance has been broken. Recruitment can now begin. Awesome. So let's get another bed set up. It looks like a shaman merchant just appeared. I am probably going to buy some Nutriamine. I'm not really interested in any of these other animals. And just like that, here comes a raid from the Howitzer men. They uh, clearly do not like pyramid schemes. Now, here's a question. Do they make a rat way recruit? Uh, answer is no. And this is, in fact, a man. Unfortunately, they will not be doing networking marketing for us. And you know what? We have rice, so I'm actually going to start getting some rats right now, I think. And there we go. Beautiful rat number one is in our colony. And uh, Mega Sloth self-tamed. So day 10, we're going to open up going for another rat ASAP. Excellent, excellent. All right, so Angie has joined our colony and on the 10th day. And you know what? Right after that, time to name the colony. Perfect timing. So let's see here. Ratty thinks you should give your faction a name. What should it be called? Well, let's use chat GTP for that. For a scenario involving a pyramid scheme that sells rats for money, the name of the colony should be Ratropolis. 
Where the settlement in a scenario that involves a pyramid scheme that sells rats for money, an appropriate name could be Rat Haven. The name conveys a sense of safety, comfort, and refuge for rats, suggesting that the settlement is dedicated to providing a nutrient environment for the animals. Yeah, I'm in. Rat Haven it is. Quest available. All right. Let's see what you're good at, Starry. Mining and medical. Ooh, a little bit of intellectual. That's not bad. Ratty apparel. Hey. Looks like the, the bear shogunate wants us to help them out. There's some people attacking, um, pull them away. So we're able to rest Starry 100%. First, we're going to want to convert them. Now we only have two days left on Bloodshed for Profit, so as soon as it turns to the day, we are going to start this. Unfortunately, there is a fog right now, but I think we still will have the advantage as these are just archers. Now, the question is, what do I want? Um, you know what? We're going to just take a telescope right now. I think that's the play. So it is the 1st of September, so we've officially hit fall, and I think I'm almost at about 20 rats here, which is pretty impressive. I would like to be able to fall back on some turrets if the raids start getting a bit larger. We've officially hit the 20 rat mark. And this should be it. There we go. Resistance is zero. So now we can recruit Starry, thank God, and get our third colonist back and our third member, which is really exciting because now we're going to be able to do rituals. It is a pretty big part of ideology. Hey, recruit. Awesome. Look at that. Starry's back. Ancient biotech lab. That sounds quite interesting, actually. Like there's a transport pod crash. Let's see if this is a, anyone useful. Social's not great. Plants is good. Cooking is good. We do need a cook. I'll try to convert them over here first, and then we will try to recruit into the colony. Four travelers, including a child, are looking for help. Show duel could be really, really good in this colony. Yeah, so we're gonna try to imprison um, the kid and take out the parent. <laughs> this game makes you say some messed up things. Yeah, yeah, let's just go and beat up the kid. Try not to subdue them too much. And our colony is expanding. As the rats grow, our network grows. Look at all these rats. We must have over 30. 40 rats. So they do have a flamethrower. I don't think I have a use for it. But on the flip side, I kind of do want the flamethrower. You know, we're buying it.
The social fight's breaking out, and as that's happening, it looks like we're being attacked. Yeah, our turrets are going to shoot everyone. Oh, the defenses are working. Let's see if we can get Mosquito. I think they'll flee if I can take down Mosquito here. Or Bat gets a shot on me. Yep. All right, we're going to have to do a bunch of rebuilding, but it looks like the defenses work pretty well. That was like about eight people and just a few turrets held up. So when we do eventually get a big raid, uh, I feel pretty comfortable with the defenses. You know, it might feel slow, but we are very quickly approaching critical mass of rats. And combat suppliers coming by and... This guy's riding a banana slug. All right, so our temple is ready and we can actually go ahead and start the materialistic fiesta. And if we go ahead and take a look at the rat meter, we are now currently at over 72 total rats. Now it's not actually 72 rats we have currently because we are killing the males. I think we're going to go for this mechanator ship and see if we can get some extra help around the colony. And uh, potentially start a forest fire, it looks like. And there's a the mechanator ship. Looks like we just need to uh, kill a scorcher and we're good to go. And our first constructor joins the colony. Oh, and there's a raid. Shogun attacking. Light him up, Angie. <laughs> oh, that was so sick. Oh my god, he pulled me in. What what ability was that? Crazy. What's this person? Male. Nope. Useless. We'll have to rebuild some more turrets again. Pretty much the only thing keeping us alive right now. And we've officially crossed the 100 rat mark. I was saying I would like to get a few more like uh, animals to carry steel when I'm purchasing. I could try to get some of these bison tamed um, and then just have them graze outside. So you know what? I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm thinking we do two clean sweepers, two lifters, one constructoid, one aggro hand. Look at all these rats. So we're going to expand our base and try to get some structures up. And I think that's going to help with raids that come down the pipeline. These uh, ancient war spider remains are really annoying because we are going to have to get and destroy all these tanks individually. Awesome, looks like some more of the mechs are done. So we have another constructoid here. It's an interesting place to go cloud watching. The Goo Gug are attacking us and they are going to prepare a little bit. Let's see what we got. Nine Raiders, Molotovs, pistols. If we can't pull them up here, we are going to run into issues. And a solar flare. Oh, tremendous. That's great. Yeah, that that's just perfect. All right, so this fight just got significantly more difficult. They are on their way. Let's pull everyone. Oh my God, just flamethrowed that guy point blank. We need to get over here. And she needs to watch out. Can't really get in club range right now. Oh god, Riveratti drops him in such a bad spot. 
All right, let's pull back. Nice, nice. Good shot by Ratty there. Okay, Antonio's in. We're just going to have to some friendly fire. Okay. Oh my god, how are they not still running? This is a mess. We're gonna have to probably use some more fire attacks here. Okay, we got him on fire. Antonia can hit this guy, hit Paolo, he's strong too. Oh my god. They're fleeing. Woo! That was a tough one. Looks like unfortunately we did take a gunshot to head on Ratty. And that's a permanent injury, so we're gonna be worse at a lot of things. Uh, she's gonna have a hard time recruiting more people with uh, that brain injury. Psychi addiction. Show Duel is addicted to Psychi. Oh no, that's our kid, isn't it? How'd he get us addicted to Psychi when he was in <laughs> this room? Um. Oh, because I've been giving him too much tea. Oh, he's a massive Psychi tolerance. What have I done? All right, uh, you are going to be no drugs. When I first placed all these hay fields, I thought this might have been overkill, but these rats are just chewing through my hay. Freddy cannot talk properly because of poor health. <laughs> well, she is brain damaged, so that uh, that doesn't surprise me much. I am thinking that we're going to go for the ancient dangers here. Makes the most sense. And it's day 90, actually. So since day 90, let's take a look at the rat counter. We have officially bred over 100, 120, 30, over 140 rats we have bred. I'm also curious at what point does my PC start lagging from the amount of rats. I just want to get a look into this uh, ancient complex. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Manhunter pack? No way. Oh my god, what are those? Okay, let's hope we can maybe light one on fire. Pull back. What the fuck was that? I think we're good. Six, seven, two, eight, one more. All right, insects. Insects are easy to deal with. Yeah, 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 I'm good with that. This isn't too risky, is it? No, this is perfectly reasonable. Absolutely butchering them. The armor's protecting me too. This is good, this is good. Look at that. Antonia will end your life if you will not go down. All right, good stuff. Um, what we got here? Tech print flesh shaping. That's kind of cool. Uh, ooh, architect arm. That's going to sell for a lot. If there's any good colonists in these uh, tombs, we actually might get some more recruits for our colony. Not too bad. Shooting 16. I'll take it. Shooting 14. Love to see that. Social as well. And melee 12. Intellect good. And they're alcoholic, but still good enough. Fuck. Well, uh, two out of three, I guess. Uh, that couldn't be helped. Oh, nice. Looks like uh, we recruited them actually pretty quickly. All right, so we are going to need another bed in the, uh, <laughs> the barracks. Maybe we need a new living quarters soon. We didn't actually end up converting them. It was taking way too long. And Ratty with her brain damage just isn't uh, very good at that. And there we go, Marjo has joined us. And like a spring blossom blooming, uh, uh, Tiffy became an adult. <laughs> Insects again, okay. Should be easy, light them up. Okay, they're all coming, just keep lighting up. I love the flamethrower so much. Blue world here. And, uh, ooh, a Persona Plasma Sword. Oh, geez, this is actually an awful position for me. Oh, well, let's see what we got. Oh, beautiful. They're all down. Okay, what we got first? Male, useless. Female, all right. Could be good. Animals 12, amazing. Next up, uh, dead. Okay. Another female here. And then that's a gentleman and they're dead.
And there we go. 100 days survive breeding rats. Was any of this meaningful in any way? No. I need a new hobby. Thanks for watching.